guys, today this video is going to show you how to make this little bag or purse or pouch. I don't know what it's called, but anyway, I'm going to make this bag. This project is designed by a friend, Peggy. You can find her information on my Facebook fan page. For this project, I make two of this. These two are the same design, except the colors are different. For this one, I use glow in the dark pen. It looks really cool at night time, so it won't last your bag. It will be very easy to find it. So if you have glow in the dark pen, I would recommend you use it. It looks real cool. So today, I'm going to use this pattern. For the base color, I'm going to use black. And the second color will be white. So it will be black and white in the center and black on the top and bottom. This design, we're going to use hook only. First, we're going to start from the bottom here and make a circle for the bottom. I'm going to take one single band, twist it two times. So you will see three rings here. This will be kind of like our cap band. Take one single band, bring it in here. Take one more band, bring it in here. For this part, it will be like a single chain. You do it two times. Now we're going to come back here, the very first band. This is our cap band. We're going to use this cap band as center and make a circle. And make this circle. For this circle, that will be major circle. And for the major circle, we're going to use eight times. So this is second time. Take one single band, bring it in here. Put both ends on your hook. For the second time, it's the border of the circle. So we're going to bring all the band in here and put both ends on your hook. So now we have two times. This will be our third times. Take one single band. Bring it in here. First time is part of the circle. And second time is the border of the circle. So we're going to bring everything in here. Put both ends on your hook. Come back to the cap band. Put your hook through the cap band again. Take one single band. Take one more band. This is the border. So we're going to bring all the bands in here. For this part, I'm going to make it very slow just for those of you who didn't do corset. But if you know how to do corset, this is a major circle, so it's the same way. Now we're going to come back to this cap band again. Put your hook through this first band. Take one single band. Bring it through. Second time is the border. So now we have five times. We need three more times. This is six. Seven. Okay, after we have eight times, we're going to take this second band. This is first through the circle here, and this second band we use. Not counting the cap band. So we're going to put your hook through here, 
then take one single pen, close up this circle. Now we're going to count how many times we have, just to be sure. Sometimes we miss count somewhere, so it's very important you make sure you have the right amount of stitch. So this very last pen, we're not counting this one. This will be the next layer. So we're counting from here. It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you will have 8 bands on the edge of this circle. For this band that we use to cross up this first circle, this will be the first band for the next layer. For the next layer, we're going to expand this egg into 16. So after you finish the second layer, you will have 16 bands on the border. For us to do that, each stitch we're going to make two times. So this will be the first time. Take one more band. This will be the second layer on the border. For those of you who do cassette, you have the marker that you can use. You can use those marker for this to make a mark, or we can just take one single band, any color that's different than your basic color here. This is just a marker. We're gonna use this band as marker. Bring it in here. Tie a knot here. We're not gonna use this band, so any color is fine. Just temporary to make a mark. Then put your hook back to this band. The reason why we use this as marker because we're going to continue to do this all the way back here. By the time we come back here, it will be hard to tell. These are the same color. It will be hard to tell which band is which band. Especially when you first try this kind of technique, sometimes we get confused. So this is just a marker to mark on here. This will be the band now we're gonna cross when we come up here. We're gonna cross up this layer. That's why we need to remember this is the pen. So now we're gonna continue. This will be first. This will be the first time for this stitch. We count this as one. So every stitch we're gonna use two times. So now we're gonna go through this very first pen on the border. Do it one more time. Take one band, bring it through here. Second time will be the border for the next layer. Pretend this red band is not here. This is just a marker, so pretend it's not here. So on your hook, you should see two plus two. So we're gonna bring this band through here. Put both end on your hook. So this will be the first. So this will be second one on the border for this new layer. Now we're gonna move on to the next stitch. So every stitch we're gonna do two times. So this will be the first time on this stitch. Bring it in here. Put both in on your hook. Second time is the border. So we're going to bring all the bands through here. Now we're going to go in the same stitch. Do it one more time. This is second time on this stitch. So now we have two times on this stitch. We're going to move on to the next one. This will be the first time for this stitch. Take one single band. Second time going through the same stitch. Bring it through. Now we're just going to repeat this step on each stitch, do two times, and go all the way here to the last one. So now you can pause your video, repeat this step, go all the way here. I'll see you when you're done. Now we have finished second layer. We're going to take this marker out because we're going to cross up this circle. 
So put your hook to here. Take another band. Close up this circle here. Now for this last band, we're gonna hide it. Don't look at it. Don't count this band. Now we're gonna count it again. On this circle, it should have 16 go all the way around. So the way to count it is like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So now on this circle, the border you have sixteen. And this one will be the next there. After we're done with second layer, total on the border you should have twenty-four stitch. The pattern on this layer, the pattern on this layer will be different. Now stairs, each stitch you do two times. Two times, two times. Now this layer, in order for us to create 24 stitch, the pattern should be two times, the next stitch be one time, next stitch two times. So the pattern is two, one, two, one, two, one and go all the way around then you will have 24 stitch on the next layer so take one single band this will be our first one bring it through the second band is the border for the next layer so this second band will be the first border on the next layer so we need to remember this band because we're gonna do all the way around come back here and then close up this band and make another bigger circle so if you're not sure we need to make a marker again that will be here take one of your other colors of a band bring it through here remember this band is for the marker just make a mark so it doesn't matter what color and we're going to take it out later so after you make a mark plug your hook through this second band one two so this will be the first time on the pattern so for first one we need two so for gear hook to very first band on the border in this circle take one band bring it through this one is the border so we're gonna bring all the band through here. Pretend this red band is not here. This is just a marker, temporary here. So you bring it through here. So now we have two times for this very first stitch. We're gonna move on to the next one. Next stitch. Put your hook through. Next one on this pattern will be just one time. Take one single band, take one more band, second time is the border. So this stitch only one time. Next one is two times. So on the same stitch, you do two times. Put your hook through the next stitch on the border. Take one single band. This is the first time on this stitch. So we finish first time. Going through the same stitch. Do it one more time. So on this stitch, we already finished two times. So now next one will be one. Next one will be two again.
this is one second time next one will be one so just repeat this pattern two one two one two one and go all the way around come back to the last one here so now you can pause your videos now I'll see you when you're done now after we finish all of them come back here so this is our marker so we're going to take the marker out and put your hook so this very first one on the border so now you should have four rings on your hook take one single pin cross up this circle put both in on your hook so now we're going to hold on to this one so you won't see it now we're going to start counting make sure you count the border this will be the first one on the border, go all the way around, you should have 24 on this there. So this will be first one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So now on this circle, we have 24. So now we're ready to make the next layer. So the pattern for this layer will be 211, 211. And repeat this pattern, go all the way around. Then you should get 32 stitch on the border. So this will be the very first one. Take one single pin. This will be the first border on this layer. So on the first border, if you need to make the marker, this is where you're going to make the marker. And put your hook back to this band. This is the second band on this layer. Will be the first border on this layer. For this layer, the pattern is 2, 1, 1. So the very first one is 2. So when you need 8, 1, so we're going to start it from the very first stitch. This will be the second time because we only one time here. Take one single band, bring it through. Second time is the border. So bring everything through here. So now we have two times on this very first stitch. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Next one will be just one. So we only need to do one time. When I say one time, just take one single band, bring it through here. But this time it's not done yet. We need to take one single band, bring everything through. So this will be the border for this time. So now we call this one time. For the next one, we we'll just one. So we're going to move on to the next stitch. Take one single band, bring it through. Put both end on your hook. Second time, bring everything through. So now we're going to repeat the pattern. So we go back to two again. So next stitch, we're going to do two times. Take one single band, bring it through. And then border. This is first time for this stitch. So we're gonna go back to the same stitch. Put your hook through. This is second time. Border for the second time. Bring everything through. 
next one will be one take one pen through another pen to the border next one will be one again Water. So I told two one will be repeated pattern. So next one will be two again. Do it one more time on the same stitch. So after two will be one one. So one on this stitch. Quarter. Next one will be one again. So put your hook to the next stitch. This border okay so we just finish another one so two one one two one one so next one will be two and just repeat this pattern go all the way around here by the time you finish here you should have 32 on the border on this layer so now you just repeat the same pattern, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, go all the way here. I'll see you when you're done. So now we have done this layer. So now we're going to find this marker. Release the marker. And put your hook through this band. This will be the very first band on the border. So now we're going to put your hook through this band, very first band on the border. Take one more band, close up this circle. So we're going to hold on to this band. So very last one, we're not going to count it because this is next there. So we're going to count again on the border. You should have 32 all the way along. So we're going to count it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So we have 32 on the border. If you don't have 32, that means you miss somewhere because the parents, after a while, you kind of lose count. So you might come out more or less. If you come out more or less, that means somewhere you made a mistake, you didn't do the right pattern. So you need to go back and find it until you have 32 all the way around on the border. So now we have 32. Now at the fourth layer, we're going to move on to fifth layer. Now it will be easier. We don't have all this pattern again. We just do one to one. So one, 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 go all the way around. So you should have 32 stitch. Because we have 32 right now, so one to one, you will come out 32 again. So we're going to use black. This will be the edge between the top part and the bottom. So we're going to use one more black, a single color. So do one more time, this is one to one. On the fifth there. So take one more band. This will be the very first one on the border for this new layer. So the same. Take another band. This will be the marker. Tie a knot here. Put your hook back to this band. Second band on this layer. This is the first border on this layer. 
That's why we have marker here. So now since we're not going to add any, it will be 1, 1, 1, all the way around. Since we're not going to add any, this will count as first one for this stage. So the next one will be the second one on the border. But give her two. This part, it could be confusing for beginner. So make sure you do it right. Take one single pen, bring it through. One more pen, this is the border. This will be the second border on this layer. So, put your hook to the next stitch. Just do single crochet. Take one single pen, bring it through. One more pen, make the border. Move up to the next stitch. Take one single pen, bring it through. One more pen, make the border. So now you see the pattern here. Just each stitch only do one time. Continue to do this all the way around and come back here. So I will see you when you're done. Okay, now we're done for this layer. We're going to find our marker. Remove your marker. And put your hook through here. So now you should see four loops here. Take one single pen. Bring it through. So now we're going to hold on to this band. This will be the next layer. So you hold on to it so we won't count it. Now if you count the edge border here, you should have 32. I already count mine. So make sure you count it. Sometimes we miss count. So you should have 32 on the border on this layer. Okay. So now we just finish our fifth layer. From now on, 6 to 10 days. We're going to use the same technique. This is 1 to 1. But for this layer, I'm going to start matching color. So you will look as pattern like this. So today I'm going to use white for the second color. The same way, it's up. You alternate the two colors. So now, we're going to make our first this is the first one for the border, this is the first one. Second band is the border for next layer. So make a marker. First one on the border. So this is our marker. Put gear hook back to the second band here. Remember, start from the second band on the border here. Because this one counts as one. So this will be for the first border. So the next one will be the second one on the border. Put gear hook through. Now we're going to use second color. You don't have to do the same pattern like I have. You can use all the same color or use rainbow color. Any color you like. So the next color, bring it in here. Border, bring everything through. So now we have black and white. So move on to the next one, will be black. Border, next one will be white. Take one more white. Make the border. This is border, so bring everything in here. Next one, black again. And white. OK. 
Okay, now you start seeing the pattern here. Be black, white, black, white, black, white. And so next one will be black. And do the same pattern. Black, white, black, white. Go all the way around. So you should get 32 stitch on the border. So now you can pause your video and finish this layer. And I'll see you when you're done. Now we'll finish this layer. So we're going to find our marker. It is a marker. Put a gear hook through here. Like this. Now we're going to take one more band. Cross up the circle here. So this will be the first one on the next layer. So since the next one is white, so on the white here we're going to use black. So on the black here we're going to use white for this layer. So we're going to cross up the circle and then count the edge here. You should have 32 all the way around. I already come by, so make sure you count yours too. So this will be the first one on next layer. We'll take one more white band, make a border. This is our marker. Make a mark here. Put your hook back here. So now we just finish our sixth layer. So we got four more layers that will do the same thing. So we're going to start next there and do it for four more times. The only thing difference for the connection here, when this is white, so next there, you want to cross up the circle, you're going to use black. And just continue on to the same pattern. So this is first times white. So we're going to use black for the next one. And remember, start from the second one on the border. And the rest of it are the same. And the black, I'm going to use white. Take one more white. Put it through here. So on the white, will be black. Now you can see the pattern here. So the rest of it are the same. Just continue on here. Black, white, black, white, go all the way around and come back here. So when you're done here, you should have 32 stitch on the border. So now you can pass your videos again. So now we're just going to repeat this pattern, go all the way around, come back here, and then cross up the circle and move on to the next layer. Total, including this layer, we're going to need four more layers. So make sure you do four more times like this. I'll see you when you're done. Now we finish our tenth layer. So when we come to here, we're going to find our marker. Remove your marker and put your hook through this band and cross up here. So for the top part, for this top part, I'm going to use black. So right now, we're going to use black to cross up this layer here. So now again, you need to count this all the way around, should have 32 stitch. Now we're going to continue on. Take one more band. This will be the border of the next layer. So now we're going to start working on the top here. So for the top here, we have five layers. First layer, we're going to be 15 stitch from this side to this side, total 15. And then we're going to Go on this way, kind of like an upside down triangle, like this. So, first layer will be 15, 13, 11, 9, and the last layer will be 6 stitch. 
So now we're going to start working on the first layer on the top. So this will be our first one for on the top. And on the top, we're going to use all black. So now this second one will be the first border on this layer. So if you need marker, we can put your marker in here. Now put your hook through. So for the top part, it's going to be like this, one to one. We're not going to add any more. Just one stitch and do one time. So take one bread. Take another pen, bring it through. So move to the next stitch. Border. Next stitch. Border. Next stitch. And border. Okay, so this will be our pattern for this part. For the top part, we're only going to do it on this side. So this side, we don't have to do it. So now you can pause your video, repeat this pattern. This is one to one. Go all the way to this side and count it for 15 times. So right now we have five, one, two, three, four, five. So we need 10 more times. So pause your video and finish 10 more times. And I'll see you when you're done. Okay, now let's count it. For the border here, start from this one. The marker 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now counting this one. So you have 15 on the top here. So that means we're done. So for this 16, this band, you will be in for the next layer. So we're going to remove our hook, put it back in from the other side, turn it around. So now next layer on the top, we're going to reduce two stitch. So it's going to be only 13. That means we're going to cut one stitch on this end and one on this end. So normally if we want to 15 stitch the same way, then we're going to add one more band to the first one. But since we're going to cut down one, so for this one, we're not going to add border. So for the next layer, you will reduce one stitch in here. So the same, we're going to take your hook, do the second one on the border, not counting this one. So this is one and two. Second one on the border. Take one pen, bring it through. This will be our first border for the next layer. So if you need marker, put your marker right here. And put your hook back to here. So now we can continue on and do it this way. To the next stitch here. Take one pen. Border, it should be the second border on the next layer. Next stitch. Third on the border. Next stitch. Okay, so now you can pause your video and repeat this step, go all the way here. Total you should have 13 times. So I will see you when you're done. So when you come all the way to this end, you're going to find this marker. Put your hook through here. We still need to do one more time on here. Take one more pin, bring it through. 
So I think we have 13 times. So we're going to count it here. Count it from this one that has marker on. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13 times on the border on this layer. So this very last one will be next layer. So now we make sure we have everything. We're going to release this marker. Hold on to this band. Release your hook. Put it to the other side. So next day we're going to cut down two more stitch. So it's going to be only 11. So the same on the edge here. We don't want to add the top part here. So no more border for this one. And start it from the second one. Second border. One, two. Second stitch. Put your hook through here. Take one single band. Take one more band. This will be the first border for the next layer. So we can place our marker here. So you won't get confused. So put your hook back in here. Now do the same thing, one to one for the next layer. So next layer is 11. So this is our first one. This stitch already have it, so we're gonna start from here. Put your hook through here. This will be second one on the border. And continue on to do this. One to one. Single crochet to each stitch. So now you can pause your video and repeat this step. And continue on to this way until you hit this marker here. So total you should have 11 border on the next layer. And then when you come to here, the same, find the marker, put your hook through. Okay, now we should have 11. So now counting the last band here. So let's count it from this side. This is the marker, so it's your first one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So now we have enough. So we're going to remove this marker. And change your hook from this end to this side. So now we're going to start on the next layer. Next layer will be only 9. So the same, we're going to start from second border, one, two. This one, put your hook through. This will be our first border for next layer. So we're going to put our marker here. Put your hook through here. So continue on to this way until I hit this marker here. Okay, now we have three times. So now you can pause your video until you finish all nine. You hit this marker, you will have nine. And I'll see you when you're done. Now we finish the last one with marker on. So we should have nine on the top here. Counting from this marker, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we have nine. Again, 
remove this marker and turn it around so now last layer we have nine here so cut down two you'll be seven left but next layer we total only gonna do six times so we're gonna make three times in here and skip one and make another three on this side so total will be six so the same cut down one so we're not going to use border on this one and start from here one two second one on the top put your hook through this will be our first border so since this is our last one we don't need marker anymore so start from next to this is second time second on the border this is third okay so we have three on this side so next one we're going to skip this stitch but on the top we still gonna make one so this time we're gonna skip this stitch just take one to make the border and then skip this one come to the next one here put your hook through take one single band border So now we we'll create a little hole here. So this will be for our bottom. So we need two more stitches here. So one. And two. Okay, so now we have three on this side and three on this side. So now we're gonna close up here. We don't need this marker anymore. We're gonna use this as a secure band. Take one loop through the others, tie it really, really tight. Now this is our secure band. So we're gonna hide this secure band. Hide it inside here, anywhere is fine. Just hide it so you won't see it. Okay, now we have finished our little mini bag. Straighten them up. I'm gonna fold it here. We're gonna add the bottom here. For the bottom, you can use charm. Any charm you can find, you can use. You can use ball, or even strawberry, heart, anything you can find, anything you like. In my, on my channel, I have many charms that you can use for the bottom. Or you can even use the character, the head of the character, or anything you like. Another way, you can just buy the pre-made bottom and attach to it. And the way to attach with the charm are the same. You can put your hook through on the attach point and take one single band any color is fine because you won't see it bring it through here and attach to the back here or if you want to use the bottom the same you can use the smaller hook and bring it through like this so now these two would add as bottom so either one that you choose to use they're the same way to attach to the bed so today I'm gonna use this bottom so we're gonna measure this hole there's a hole here I will skip one stitch so when you fold it's gonna be around here so now we're gonna attach the bottom to here and from this point, put your hook through from inside to outside. Take the bottom 
on this band. Hold on to this side. So when you pull, it won't come up. So we're gonna pull through here, move it inside here, and then put your hook through the next hole here. And then put this end on your hook. Bring it through. So now you have both ends on your hook. Take one end through the other, so you will tie a knot here. And now we're going to bring this end to our side here. You can use your hand to hold it right quick. And then, find a point, put your hook through, and then put this on your hook, and bring it to this side again. That's after you tie a knot on this side, so you won't come undone. So after you bring this side, you can just drop it around on this bottom. So you pull it for us. And that's pretty good. So now we can pull this top part and find this hole and put the bottom through here. That's, that's how you attach your bottom. So now we just finish another bag. And this is different color. That exactly the same and again I really like this going in a dark band at night time it looks really cool night time it looks really cool like this so if you like my video subscribe like comment and share thank you for watching see you next time bye